All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, giving all glory and all infinite praise is due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kadash, the Bonds, Great Master, Edo Apostle, who teach me well. Peace and salutation to the old for elect the scattered broad, the elect of the nation, Shalom, Shalom. And Shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there making their body a living sacrifice by going out there in the highways, byways, and hedges, by proclaiming the truth of the Lord, and by spreading this gospel, Shalom. And the Shalawan to the Sir Akwathi, that's out there resting the husbands being a pillar of rest. Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh as a being the Heavenly Father, which the word eagerly calls God, which his name means he exists. Bahashem meaning the name of Yahweh Shah being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, which the word eagerly calls Jesus the Christ, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he's the deliverer. Who's the deliverer for? For the children of Israel only. Okay? And the Rakakadash being the Holy Spirit or the Spirit Holy. So today's lesson is basically going into reincarnation is biblical and here is proof okay this is just a short lesson you know this is just going to expound on Yahweh's one of Yahweh Shai's reincarnations but Lord willing I could do a more deep lesson deeper lesson on it okay for edification's sake okay so we had this guy come up to camp the other day and basically he said he wasn't convinced on reincarnation you know, that's why I said, later, Lord willing, later on, I can do a, a lesson on it and stuff like that. So I can uh, go more into detail about it and basically, you know, explain reincarnation. But, you know, this is just a quick bite of explaining reincarnation. But um, without further ado, the guy came up and basically he wasn't convinced that reincarnation is real. And um, he basically didn't understand the scriptures. You know, because reincarnation is me. You know, some people can get it, some people can't get it. But if you can't understand reincarnation, you know, how would you understand Yahweh Shah's reincarnations? Okay, you wouldn't be able to understand his reincarnations. Okay, because simply you just don't understand the scriptures, or two, you just simply just don't believe. Okay, which that is probably the two reasons. Okay, you simply just don't believe. Okay. So that's why, you know, we, that's of the circumcision, you know, number one, another thing that the guy had dread. So, of course, we knew where that conversation was going to go, okay? Because there's always something about a, a, a Jake with dreads, man. They always, you know, want to sound deep, but they they furthest from it, number one, okay? But without further ado, you know, we just going to go and jump into it. You know, because like I said, reincarnation is biblical. And like I said, once uh Lord willing I get um once I get off plant the plantation to school today, I'ma uh go further into detail in reincarnation. So we're gonna start off with Ecclesiastes one and verse uh, nine. And the reason it says the thing that hath been is that which shall be, and that which is which what is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun is there anything whereof it may be said see this is new it had already been of old time which was before us right so the lord clearly stating there is no new thing under the sun okay the things that we see today happened before okay only thing that's been advanced that looks new is technology, but they always had some kind of devices to get jobs done back then. Okay. All right. But going, but when you think about it, the same people been here, the same spirits been here. Okay. Because the spirit doesn't go away. Okay. It just returns back. It just come, it goes to the heavens and it returns back into it, it, go, it goes up to the The spirit goes to the heavens The spiritual realm And it comes back Okay And live out It's judgment Okay So whatever you did In your past life Okay And when it's time For you to uh, pass away And you go into The spiritual realm Okay The Lord gives you Your judgment And then you go Live out your judgment On earth Okay That's biblical Okay and once again, this is a stumbling block to a lot of jakes, you know, because 
they want to see concrete proof that it just says you are being you're going to be brought back to life this way this way you know when the lord is this is just a mystery that's why the lord said it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven unto them it's not given <coughs> because only the elect will understand these things okay that's why the lord said blessed are your eyes for they hear and blessed are your I mean, blessed are your eyes for they see and blessed are your ears because they hear. OK, your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears. OK, so that's why it says there is no new thing under the sun. OK, we all been here before. OK. But this time, you know, when the Lord comes back, you know, this this is the last, you know, this is the last time we, you know, if you basically this generation has already been here. Okay, the Roman Empire been here already. It's this is the Roman Empire. This is the re America is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire. So it's like you think about it. Oh, we sound all over the place, but if you think about it, if you can't simply understand reincarnation, but you can understand that the Roman Empire is America, can I not tell you that that's reincarnation itself? Okay, because look what the Romans are. Look what the Roman Empire is playing out back then, and look what they playing out today. It's the same thing. You got your uh, Republicans. You got your Democrats. That was back then. Okay. All right. But getting back to it. Okay. Um, there is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Right. So we don't have no remembrance of our past lives. Okay. Because if you was a no what happened in your past life you will be bugged out your mind and the jake basically said well i want to see all that you know why the lord got to hold that from me because it's the lord man okay the lord don't got to give you shit okay when jake understand that you can't make the lord do shit for you man you gotta understand the lord does what he wants to do okay he is a omnipotent being okay you can't tell the Lord, well, I want you to show me my past life because I ain't convinced. Then you did the, if you ain't convinced off just the scripture's sake, you just simply just don't believe, dude. That's all it is to it. Okay, now getting to Ecclesiastes 3 in verse uh, 15. And it says, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. Yeah, how will require that which is past? Okay, so... The things in the past, okay? You know, your past life, the Lord requires that, okay? Just like Esau, the things he done in his in the past lives that he had, okay, going all the way back to Cain, okay, going all the way back to when he was the serpent, okay? He got to pay for all that, okay? He got to pay for all that. But once again, that's reincarnation because your past lives Okay, because when Jake be talking about the law, the law, the law, okay, if the Lord was to bring up your one of your past lives and all the things you've done wrong in your past life, because you don't know, that's why we in this current life trying to get things right. Because if you was to see what you was being acting like in your past life, man, you you probably be already dead. Okay, but going back to it, and it says, moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there. The place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. Right, so what is the place of judgment that's under the sun? The earth, okay? Because when you go into the spiritual realm, I, I explained it earlier, but I'm going to explain it again, okay? When you die, okay, your spirit goes into the Lord. Well, this in the scripture. Verse 17, I'm going to get to it. And I said in my heart, Yahweh shall judge the righteous and the wicked for their is a time and for every purpose and for every work i said in my heart concerning the state a uh, state of the sons of man that how am i manifest them and they that might see that themselves are beasts for that which befalleth sons befalleth the sons of man befalleth beasts every one of thing every one thing befalleth them as one dieth so like it as one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man may a man have no preeminence above a beast for all his vanity. Okay. Give 
verse 20. Verse 20. All go unto one place. All are dust and all turn to dust again. Verse 21. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth? Right. So when you die, your spirit goes up to the spiritual realm. Okay. Because when Paul had his uh, out of body experience, you know, he wasn't in his body. Okay. It's, 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 it, he wasn't in his body to see the spiritual realm. Okay. He was having he was having an out of body experience. Okay, he saw the spiritual world. Okay, and he couldn't even fathom what was going on. Okay, so once again, when you perish, okay, you, your spirit goes unto the heavenly Father. Okay, not your body. Okay, when your spirit goes goes unto the heavenly Father. Okay, you get your judgment. Okay, that's why you see people with that's paraplegic when they born. That's why you see children born with missing limbs that's why you see people born blind people born deaf okay deaf because they are living out their judgment upon the earth okay they get their judgment within the, within the spiritual realm okay for the things they lived in their past life okay and they go they come back in this life to live out their judgment okay that's why, once again, that's why you have a shot said, blessed are your eyes and blessed are your ears because they hear. Okay? Not everybody's going to understand this. Only the elect is going to understand what's being taught. Okay? So, kind. That's it on that. Now, let's get uh, Genesis 18, one of your have shot's reincarnations. Okay? I'm going to get straight to the point. Um, this verse. I'm going to read 13, 12 to 13. And it says, Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also. And Yahweh said unto her, Why wherefore did Sarah laugh? says wherefore did sarah laugh saying shall i shall i of surety bear a child which am which am old okay is there anything too hard for you how would at right so you know so i can let me reread that because i'm in traffic and stuff i'm trying to focus up and stuff okay once again it says wherefore did sarah laugh saying Shall I of surety bear a child which am old? Is there anything too hard for, for Yahweh to is there anything too hard for Yahweh? At that time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Right. <clears throat> so this is Yahweh Shai speaking unto Abraham and Sarah, telling them that I'm going to return unto you in the in the time in an appointed time. <coughs> as your son okay and who is that son isaac okay so this is one of your shai's reincarnations okay because your shai reincarnated multiple times through the scriptures that's why the scriptures say that's why you have a say i come in the volume of the volume of the book and it is written of me okay and like i said uh he came back as solomon he came back as um he had and he came back as Jehovah Shai. And he was Melchizedek. Okay? So that's more reincarnations to spound on. But you know, once again, this is just a quick little bite, you know, of one of Yahweh Shai's reincarnations. And Lord willing the spirit on me to revisit this, to expound on it more, you know, because I'm headed towards the plantation. And just make this quick and short. But kind man, you know, for that Jake, man, if you don't get it, you know, just off these these scriptures alone, man, that just mean you just don't get it, okay? And it's a stumbling block, okay? Because you want to see concrete evidence when this is your evidence, okay? Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, you know? That's why the Lord said, through thy precepts I get understanding, okay? So, 
if you want your concrete evidence, this is your concrete evidence right here. You just got to be able to put the puzzle pieces together. But once again, only the elect may be able to understand. So with that, pray and hope this lesson is edifying to those that may watch, giving on glory and on infinite praise and due to Yahweh, by Shemi Yahushai, by Shemi Kakadash, double eyes of great minister, and apostle, we teach you well. Peace, salutations to the whole for elect that scattered abroad and like the other nations. Shalom, shalom. Until next time, to the next video, shalom. Masharala, about above.